What's up guys, welcome back to the Aramanati YouTube channel. My name is Aram and today we're getting into some double stops in the style of country players like Brent Mason, Andy Wood, Guthrie Trapp, um, Johnny Highland, all those guys. And before we hop in, I do want to encourage you if you are enjoying the content, if you like the lessons and getting something out of it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell, that way you don't miss a lesson. Also, I'm gonna be dropping all my Cash App, Venmo, PayPal information. If you do wanna shoot me a couple of bucks, I would greatly appreciate it, thank you. Now, as far as the lesson, I wouldn't consider myself like a, a pro country player by any means, but I've done some country gigs and I've something I've dabbled in for a while. I literally started learning this style just by transcribing Brent Mason stuff and picking licks here and there and kinda of incorporating it into my playing coming back for more, and that process still continues today. Something that I picked up right away that I found useful was this lick right here. It's not very complicated. Uh, you do wanna get the technical aspect of it down, which is the chicken picking, hybrid picking. You don't need nails. It, it helps to have a little bit of nail. Like right now, I don't have any nails and my fingers are pretty uh, jacked up right now. But you don't need to like go get some acrylics done or something like that. Like just start doing it and you'll build calluses. So here it is. How I find this is we're in the key of A major and I look for the A shape of A major if you're using the cage system. This voicing right here. And within that voicing, that's my first double stop. Then you add the bass notes. You do need a pretty good muting technique, so I always kind of have my palm on the saddles here just to not ring out any excess noise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a great exercise if you're just getting into hybrid picking. So next step, you can do like down, down, pluck. Mm -hmm. Then you can do like leading into the bass notes, like. And you can also do like hammer on and pull off type of thing. Right away, if you want to practice it and throw it into like an existing riff of some sort uh, or a groove, you can do like the working man blues type of thing. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a lot of variations on this. You can use your own creativity. You can do um, chromatics. So and let's say the key changes and you're going to the four. You can do the same thing on the four. In this case, I find the A shape of a D major and same process. Go to the five. Back to the one. Another thing is that you can play this in more places. Uh, so memorize this place first. Just remember the A shape of an A chord. Then if you play it here, you have one right next door here. Same thing. Go to the D, same thing. So there's a lot of options. Uh, experiment, kind of go back and rewatch the video and pick up some more things. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, my name is Aram. Thank you.